Welcome to Murder in Venice. This is a short game where you play as an invisible detective investigating a case. And no, I have no idea why the character is invisible. But it's kind of cool, so why not? It's a student project. And it's completely free, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. And apparently it's not quite the finished version. It's still being worked on. And it's also got some broken English. So expect some wonkiness. Let's begin. Ah, there you are. I assume you are familiar with the flight of the angel that takes place on St. Mark's Square every year? No? Well... For Carnival, a young girl is dressed up as an angel and is let down on a rope from the tower, flying over the square. It's one of the carnival's highlights. Attracts hundreds of visitors. It's an honor to be chosen as the angel. Every year, dozens of young women apply for the role. But this year... There was a problem. At first, everything seemed fine. But then... She was dead immediately. It's up to you to know. It's, it's up to you know to... What? I, I'm not quite sure what that said, but... It's up to you to find out what happened. Call me as soon as you've solved the case. Okay, so here we are. On the crime scene, and I am, well... Still invisible. The controls are pretty clunky, so I'm probably going to be fumbling over them quite a bit. Let's see what we got here. Her name was Anna Lombardi, 23 years old, living in Venice. What's that on her back? The harness in which the victim was suspended has definitely been messed with. Parts of the straps are missing. An accident? Or did somebody sabotage this? And what did that say down here? Oh, this is a list of what I found. Okay, you know that the damaged... that... damaged equipment was what caused the accident. Okay, so apparently a lot of women apply for this job. Or, I, I shouldn't say job, but a lot of women apply for this, kind of, this, this honor, basically. A lot of people compete for it, and really hope that they're the ones that can get it. So maybe somebody was jealous that Anna Lombardi got it, and not them. So young and yet so dead. The forensic unit was already here. Okay, that's just my my kit. Torn piece of paper bearing the number 510. Might be a code or something. It was lying in the piazza close to the body. Hmm. Number three. Number three what? Does it mean like the evidence marker? Because that was actually evidence marker number two, wasn't it? I don't know, whatever. An army knife? It bears some scratches. Alright, let's make sure we look at every marked piece of evidence. I don't think the other things are actually relevant. Like, that's just a flyer. These flyers for the carnival are everywhere in the city. Yeah, that's nothing. Looks like garbage. And this definitely looks like garbage, since it is around a garbage can after all. I would hope so. Okay, I think that's it. Yep, body, two pieces of evidence next to it. All right. Um, what now? Where, where exactly is the tower? Hold on. Let's look up. Is it this? Ah, there it is. Look at the birds. 
I think a lot of the sound effects in this game were done by, like, mouth noises? Everything sounds like mouth noises, even this sound. Like... I think the wind is even somebody just making a noise with their mouth. I like it. It's cute. Door to the tower is locked. Well, damn, where's the key? Okay, well, I've investigated this fully as far as I can tell, so where do I go? This way? Wouldn't, wouldn't this just be somebody's house or something? Oh, hello. Hello, fellow invisible person. Can I speak with you? Apparently I can. Can I help you? Uh, who are you? Did you know the victim? My name is something I'll never be able to pronounce. Anna was my girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you and the deceased very close? We've been, uh, were, together for two years. One more question. Oh yeah, so apparently you can put pieces of evidence in the dialogue. So apparently, I think it's this that says it? Yeah. Um, it says, hint items can only be used in dialogue, not in the game environment. So you don't use items on the game environment, but you use them just to present stuff to people, apparently. Do you know how I could gain access to the tower? <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm a detective. Isn't that something, like, they should just provide me with? <laughs> what, like, am I going to break in or something? I guess I'll ask it. There's a te technician somewhere around here, but I haven't seen him since before the flight. One more question. Um, where were you when the accident occurred? I stood in the middle of the square. I saw how she... It was horrible. And when did you leave? When the police arrived and the doctors declared her dead. I could no longer watch. What exactly happened out there? It all happened so fast. At first I thought everything was fine, but then she fell so quickly. I heard screams. Alright, one more thing. Do you know about this knife? Is this hers? What can you tell me about this? That's mine. Where did you get my pocket knife? Hmm. Why would your pocket knife be there? Did somebody use it to mess with the harness, maybe, and then planted it there? Do you notice anything about the knife? Notice anything? I don't know what you... Well, although, there's scratches in the varnish. Those were certainly not there when I last saw it. The knife belonged to my father. I surely wouldn't throw it around. Hmm. So somebody stole his knife. Why was this lying on the square? I have no idea. I'm, I'm certain I didn't take it with me today. Why would I? That is strange. Hold on. Alright, what about this piece of paper? What can you tell me about this? Don't have anything to say about that. Alright. Okay, so there's a technician somewhere around here. And this is a complicated stereo system. I prefer vinyl, like in the old days. I don't. Vinyl is terrible. Handwritten note. Anna, I'm sorry. G. That's strange. Camera likes to clip through walls, too. Colorful high heels. The same shoes as those worn by the victim. I think it's... I, I think. It's not like I know a lot about shoes. Who would leave their handbag lying around like this? A wallet. According to the ID card, it belongs to an attractive young woman called Marina Cortis. Hmm. A mobile phone. 
The last message sent is, I can't do it. The answer to it is, you must. It's the only chance you'll get. Fascinating, this new technology. <laughs> That's not what I find fascinating about it. What I find fascinating about that is the fact that it seems to be messages left about trying to murder the woman that just died outside. I can't do it, you must. It's the only chance you'll get. Sounds like somebody's trying to talk her into... Yeah, into killing her. Did you go through with it? I'd like to talk to this... Whatever her name was. Uh, Marina. Close, close, close. No one answers. Maybe if I keep bashing the door down, the Lancer? No, probably not. Oh, too close. Oh, that's where the piece of paper came from. Right? Yeah, it must be. In-house phone numbers, janitor 514, technician, the last number seems to have been torn off. Why would somebody tore, tear off the number of the technician? This number is not in service. Excuse me, sir. Let's talk about this note. I wrote this note. What did you apologize for? Anna and I were fighting last night. Why? I... Uh, I don't even remember what started it. It doesn't matter, really. Hmm. Did Anna read this? I think so. I hope. Let's see. Anything to talk about with the shoes? I doubt it. Um, oh, yeah, maybe. Those are the same shoes as the ones Anna wears today. Does Anna have two pairs of those? No, I don't believe Anna would buy the same shoes twice. Hmm. Any idea who they might belong to? They must belong to that other woman. The one who was originally going to jump. Hmm? He found out that the other another woman was chosen to be the angel, but they switched last minute. I don't even know her name. She was originally elected as the carnival's angel. Why did they switch? No idea. It happened on really short notice. Not ten minutes before the flight. Did the two know each other? Well, that... I, I don't know that. Not really. Okay, that was a shady answer. The name of the original angel is Marina. That's her, that's the one who was supposed to jump Marina. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, another one was chosen to be the angel, but they switched last minute. The name of the original angel was Marina. And it's in her bag that I found the phone saying, I can't do it. And then somebody replying back to that saying, you have to, it's your last, like, it's your last chance. Oh god, I'm looking through the wall. Nope, stop. Okay, so just 510? Yes. Could you open the tower door? Sure. I'll unlock, I'll unlock it right away. I'll be on top of the tower. Thank you. Yeah, those are totally mouth noises. <laughs> That's awesome, listen to that. So, I could call the janitor. Sure. Why not? I just called the wrong one. F five? What? I just pressed five and it just pressed eight. Huh? Hold on, let me realign myself. Something's wrong here. Something is wrong here. Okay, five. 
One. I did not press the four, I pressed the one. Five. Eight? No. Okay. Something's wrong here. Okay, I think I need to aim above the actual number I want to hit. Yeah, I do. Okay. There we go. Nobody answers. All right. I'm like the stiffest person ever. Look at my walking animation. Whoa! It's a portal to another dimension. What? I don't know what just happened. Okay. I guess let's not go backwards. Oh, this is pretty. Cigarette butts. Box of cigarettes. There's eight cigarettes left in it. More cigarette butts. I don't think I should leave the crime scene before I know exactly what happened. Um, oh. I'm looking... <laughs> it thinks I'm still down at the crime scene. What the hell is that? Rough black cloth fibers. The same material as the harness Anna wears. Roughly cut off with a pocket knife, maybe? Hmm. There you are. There you are. Hold on, what's that? Oh, cigarette butts. They just look kind of weird from further away. Hello there, good sir. Hi. What's your name? Bruno Ponti. I'm responsible for the technical stuff around here. Well, you sure did a good job with that harness. Why was this... Why was your number torn off? Uh, that's my phone number. As you might remember, you're the one who called me before. Of course, silly me. <clears throat> Looks like part of the harness on which the angel was suspended. How can this just fall apart? I don't know how this could happen by itself. Somebody meddled with this. How is this damaged? You're the detective, Missy. But alright, if I have to guess, looks like this could have been cut apart with a knife or something. Hmm. Well, the boyfriend did say that it was his father's pocket knife. Maybe his father came back and used his own pocket... Stole his pocket knife back from his... Well, I think of his father's probably dead, so I guess his father's ghost came back, stole his pocket knife back, used it to cut the harness, and then scratched it up. Be no. No, that's not right. Cigarettes? Tell me about cigarettes. Those aren't mine. Okay, whose were they? I mean, there were a bunch of cigarettes in the room where Marina was. I guess they could be her. Could could be hers. Don't know what that is. I'm just gonna give him everything. That knife might have been used to cut the straps of the harness. No idea why you'd show me that. Well, they're pretty shoes. Why wouldn't I show you them? Don't know who that is. I think I've done everything now. Yep. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think there's anything else up here. Half full box of cigarettes. What did it say? It had eight cigarettes, so I guess that means eight cigarettes have been used up out of it, if it's half full. Yeah, but I think that's it for up here. Eh, 
And we just teleport down. Because why not? We're cool like that. What if I compare the shoes to hers? No, 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 it said you can't use... It said you can't use items on the environment, right? Yeah, not in the game environment, so no. Gotta throw away my adventure game logic, it doesn't quite work like that. Let's see if I can open this door. Take that as a no. That's a no. Does anybody answer now? Nope. A lot of cigarette butts here. Maybe left by the same person who forgot their box of cigarettes up on the tower. Exactly what I was thinking. So it was either... What's her name? Marina? It's either Marina or whoever was texting her. That did this, I think. I wish it told me who was texting her. Surely it would say a name, right? Okay, got a couple new things to ask about. So are mine. I quit a while ago for Anna's sake. Okay. I don't know what this is supposed to mean to me. Neither do I. I think I've already asked about everything, right? That's who was supposed to jump Marina. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really sure what to do now. Like, I, f I think I need to talk to more people, but where will I find them? Should I call the other guy again? 514? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do now. I'm supposed to call somebody when I'm finished with the case, right? I don't think I've quite finished, and I don't think I have the number for the person I'm supposed to call to end the case, or something? I'm gonna take a look around, and I'll be right back. Oh, it looks like we have a new question for this guy. Didn't the equipment get checked before the flight? Yes. I had just thoroughly checked the harness. Just 15 minutes before the flight. Everything was fine then. Did you always have an eye on the equipment after that? I would have, had I had not received an urgent call. I was informed that the stereo system, the one we used for the Flight of the Angel, was broken. So I went down there and had a look. Somebody had merely flipped the main switch, but apart from that, it worked perfectly fine. Who called you? It was a girl's voice, but no idea who it was. I can't tell those beauty queens apart from each other. Oh, what, they all look the same? Racist. One more question. What happened then? I wanted to go back up, but then an angel girl stormed past me, crying and locked herself into the storeroom. Which one of the angels? The one that was supposed to jump. The other one was just back up. Okay, so that's why the switch, Marina, is the one that was going to jump. So Marina. Yeah, that was her name. As I said, that was just barely ten minutes before she was supposed to jump. I tried to get her out of there, but she had locked the door from the inside. Poor girl seemed to have totally lost it. I heard her cry and she said something like, I can't, I can't jump. So we had to, we had to switch to plan B and took the other girl. The one who's now lying down with her brain splattered over the cobblestones. What happened to the original angel? As far as I know, that one hasn't left the storeroom since. Hmm. 
So somebody obviously distracted him on purpose. Now is your only chance was what the text message said. Text message to Marina. The cable winch seems to be functional. Alright, let's go talk to Marina. I just totally went the wrong way. So let's just look at everything we have real quick. Another woman was chosen to be the angel, Marina, but they switched last minute. Technician was distracted by a false alarm shortly before the flight. You know that Marina, who should have been the one to jump, is still hiding in the storeroom. And again, the text message says, I can't do it. You must. It's the only chance you'll get. Maybe that's just saying you have to do the jump. You must. It's the only chance you'll get. Maybe it's not. Yeah, maybe that's not violent. Maybe that doesn't mean, like, sabotage, you know, sabotage or harness, it's the only chance you'll get. Maybe it means you have to do the jump, it's the only chance you'll get. Because she was, she was scared. Maybe. Marina, I know you're in there. If you don't open the door, I'm gonna kick it down with my invisible foot. No, um... Uh, what should I use? What piece of evidence? I don't know. Shoes? Open the door. <sighs> Let's just try everything. Oh well, I'll gladly take one of those. <laughs> okay. So she's the smoker. Only if you unlock the door. Alright then. Aw, oh, sad face. Hold on. Ah, uh, there we go. Forgive me for not answering before. My name is Marina. How long have you been in there? Oh, quite a while. Since sometime before one o'clock. Why did you lock yourself in? I should have been the one to fly. But the tower is so high and I felt so small. I was scared. But that horrible person of a technician knew no pity, so I hid in here. Horrible technician? I shouldn't talk bad about him. It was just minutes before the flight, when I panicked. He was very angry when I couldn't do it. He could have at least pretended to understand. How well did you know Anna? Well, she was fighting the same battle as me. I didn't talk to her much, however. Battle? I'm referring to the beauty contest, of course. We all wanted to win, and we're all very much invested in it. Battle is a bit of an exaggeration, though, don't you think? You can't possibly imagine how serious this was for some of the ladies. Horrible. Fascinating, but horrible. How was Anna during that time? She was inc incredibly ambitious. She might have been more absorbed by the contest than any of us. That might be why she was so devastated when she came in second. You heard what happened to her? How could I not? I heard the whole commotion in here. Poor, poor Anna. First she loses, and then this. It's terrible. I think that was all the... I think that was it. Okay, so evidence. Um... Cigarette. 
I guess I already gave her one. Literally use everything on everything. Shoes? Those are the shoes I should have been wearing. Okay, that's what I thought. That's mine! I left it in the dressing room. Yep, I figured. Already tried that. Okay. That was surprisingly unhelpful. I guess the only major thing I really learned was about the beauty contest, which I didn't know about. She took the contest very seriously and was incredibly ambitious. Do you know anything about the beauty contest? Maybe that's why they were fighting. How important was the beauty contest for Anna? She, well, she took this all very seriously. It's a great honor to be chosen as the angel, you know. And how did Anna react when she learned that Marina had been chosen? Well, she... She was disappointed. She worked hard to get in shape for the contest. <laughs> the dialogue option. Get to the goddamn point! She was beside herself. She came home last night, crying and shouting. The contest was all she had in mind for months. What else did she say? Anna was angry at Marina. She just wouldn't calm down. What did she say? What did she say about Marina? A lot, and none of it was friendly. She said she could never stand Marina. Anna seemed to believe Marina didn't win fairly, that she slept with one of the judges or something like that. Do you think there was truth behind any of this? How would I know? I don't even know Marina. But I've also never seen Anna how I saw her last night. She was furious. One more question. If that was the reason for your fight, then why did you apologize? She threw somewhat of a tantrum. She completely ignored me when I tried to calm her down. So... So... So I grabbed her and... I grabbed her harder than I had intended to and I must have hurt her. I apologized immediately, but I feel awful about it. I didn't want to hurt her. Why did the contest mean so much to her? The flight of the angel comes from a 500-year-old tradition. The angel is the carnival's face. In addition to that, Anna's family greatly values tradition. I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. I found enough information to call 112 and tell the chief of police what happened. Hmm. I think I have a hunch about what has happened. Do I? I don't know if I do. Are you sure about that? Anna was incredibly angry at Marina on the eve of the event. I mean, I have hunches, but it's literally just that. It's literally just hunches. Like... I'm gonna get a stretch in here. Oh, that feels good. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Never undervalue a good stretch. Anyway. So, Anna was really angry at Marina. They were both here around the same time. Marina was going to do the jump, but then she said she was scared and wanted Anna to do it instead. So perhaps Marina killed her to make sure that she didn't go around spreading, like, spreading rumors about her, uh, about Marina sleeping with the judges or something? I can't do it, you must, it's the only chance you'll get. Hmm. Well, it says I have enough information to call 112, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't talk to anybody more. Although it looks like there's no new dialogue. Hmm. 
Why did you lock yourself in? Um, I already asked that. Let's go talk to the technician. One more time. Just to make sure. Where was Anna when Marina locked herself up? As I was going to head back up when the girl Marina locked herself up, um, I met Anna, or whatever her name is, brought her up to the tower and strapped her in. It was about time by then. Hmm. Could it have been Marina, though, if she locked herself up? I mean, he checked it, everything was fine, and it was sometime in between when he get when he got called down to the stereo system. That it was messed with. Um, how was Anna? How was she? Uh, how, how she was? <laughs> no idea. Somewhat stressed out and nervous, I guess. Nervous, but... She did want to jump, didn't she? How should I know what she wanted? We were running out of time and we didn't have another backup, so I didn't have a lot of options besides strapping her in and letting her fly. Maybe we should take another look at the stereo system. This must be the stereo system that Mr. Ponty mentioned when he told me about the false alarm. Hmm. I don't really no. I'm starting to think it wasn't Marina. She's very suspicious, but I don't know. But I think that's all I can do. So I guess let's call the police detective and see if I get this case completely wrong. Ah. Okay, uh, 112. Just one more look at this. Anna was extremely nervous right before the flight. And she was angry at Marina. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm still missing something. But, okay. I know what happened now. Was it just an accident? <laughs> no, it was definitely sabotaged. So I thought, when was the crime committed? Well, somebody sabotaged, uh, somebody sabotaged the harness just minutes before the flight. How was the harness damaged? With a pocket knife. Why did nobody notice the damage? Well, Bruno Ponti, who was responsible for that, was distracted by a false alarm. What was the culprit's motive? Good question. Result of a fight between lovers? No, I don't think so. Jealousy and frustration? I see. Alright. But now to the most important question. Who committed the crime? Who damaged the harness and let Anna Lombardi jump to her death? Hmm... The culprit is Anna Lombardi herself who fell victim to her own plan. That actually fits the evidence the best... I... Kinda? It would explain why she was so nervous to get into the harness, but then why would she even do it at all? Who fell victim to her own plan? Like, is the technician such an asshole that he forced her to jump? Surely she would have protested. Because she knows that she would die. 
Like, you wouldn't just go like, oh, all right, well, I guess, you know, technician wants me to do it. I guess I'll get into the harness and fall to my death. It makes the most sense, though. I guess that's it. Anna Lombardi herself, who fell victim to her own plan. I guess she... Yeah, I mean, how else... That explains the pocket knife and why it's all scratched up. She used... Yeah, she stole the pocket knife from her boyfriend. Used it. And then she had it on her. When she fell, and that's why it got all scratched up and fell on the crime scene. That or she tossed it off the roof. And that's how it got down there. Something like that. I, yeah, I think that's it. It doesn't quite make sense, but it makes the most sense. What? She got into her own death trap? But that sounds... Unbelievable. Tell me exactly what happened there. Well, there you have it. That was pretty cool. It's definitely a clunky game. The controls are very clunky. And the text is a little bit hard to read because it's not the most... Uh, not the greatest translation to English. But that was actually just pretty cool. I would call it charming. Because it's got like the the mouth sounds for all the sound effects for opening doors and phones and stuff like that. All just made by people's mouths, which is, it doesn't really sound good, but it's, you know, it's charming. And the graphics are kind of cartoony. Again, they don't look great, but they're charming. And it's a very short and simple and little, um, interesting kind of miniature detective mystery. Not a lot to it, but all the parts are there and everything pretty logically fits together. Yeah, that was cool. I liked it. Alright, so that has been Murder in Venice. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.